please welcome the magnanimous Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> Some of that. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hi. 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 This is first of all seeing you in the in the flesh because uh -huh. I've been watching this and you're so good. You're so good <laughs> at this. Honestly, I love every single bit of it. You get stains out of. You. I mean, I. Oh. Someone said to me. Oh, what was it? Well, I've already put a stain on your chair because of my body oh, makeup. Oh. You're like dying for that, right? Oh, no. This has been in your blood for a long time. Yes, yes. It really did start when I was like 14 living in my first apartment and there was a laundry mat down the street. And I would get into that washer like it was a cauldron and I was a witch. <laughs> Fabric softener, stain removal, bleach, oh. the whole art of, and I think that's where it was born. So It also holds the sentence, 14, my own apartment. It's, you know, we're... This we're, girl has lived it. Well, we're going through a journey today. Yes. And I wanted to take this intimate tour of Los Angeles that really showed every place that I've lived. Do you still have the house that I've been to a few times? I sold it, no. actually. I know. That was a very painful thing for me, a very scary thing for me to leave my one anchor. That was your anchor. When you moved from New York to LA, yeah. what were the feelings? What was that experience like to let go and start anew? Yeah. Well, let go and start a new. I don't think anybody moving, going from New York to LA ever actually says I'm moving. You're, there, you're going on a vacation. <laughs> that then just keeps extending itself because you're almost too afraid to say as an actor, I'm going to go try to make it in California because if you, I didn't make it in New York for two years, God knows I'm going to make it in LA. So I'm just going to go visit my father. And then I landed and I knew one person. And then I met another person who then introduced me. And then I went to this little party, like a little house party in Laurel Canyon with maybe 12 people. Next thing you know, I'm in a goddess circle in Laurel Canyon. And I all of a sudden had someone, I couldn't just talk, you have a talking stick. I was like, wow, I am really, I have landed in Los Angeles. And then I was, I, I had a job at a telemarketing company, like in what East, I don't even know where it was. Uh, selling, what are you selling? Pocono timeshares. <laughs> and then I did get a, a, a job. So I moved from Studio City. W w with, I met these people, these, this group of people, and they all had rentals on this street in Laurel Canyon called Beach Knoll Road. Yep. Um, one lived here, one lived here, one lived here, and they would all sort of visit each other. There was one house that everyone kind of congregated in. And then one night I was there, they were like, this one's available for rent. So then I got myself up on the hill and we were called the hill people. <laughs> Lived this fun few years doing jobs here and there and then friends happened, which I thought I'd kind of manifested because I said, this is sort of the way I live on the hill where you have your friends and everybody shows up at the house um, at Monica and Rachel's. I was like, I feel very, this is very familiar to me. Do you believe that you do manifest things? Yes. Like one is capable of manifesting? I've been told to manifest, you, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest, you, you speak to it as though it's already happened. Okay, I like that. So thank you for this wonderful job that I have dreamed about and prayed for and I, with this glorious crew and a joyful experience. Thank you for that. Now, it's hard to like pass by the career that you've had and jump to the next one, and then we're gonna go backwards, but Adam Sandler, <laughs> who is someone that- The Sandman. 
The Sandman. The Sandman can. Adam is, he's one of a kind, isn't he? He's a unicorn. Yes, he really is. He's a unicorn because he's a joy. He walks with joy, lives with joy, and he doesn't get moody. He, yeah, comedians are moody. And I'm attracted to them because I want them to make me laugh in real life. Yes. And let your girlfriends do that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Okay, so there was this uh, Twitter debate that happened about. Who is a better partner for Adam Sandler, Jennifer Aniston, or Drew Barrymore? Which sounds weird to say my name. And what I loved about what came out of that was... What? Well, that <laughs> you and I chose each other. Oh, well, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. That's because, you know, the, the, there's the, 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 the phrase that guys like to say, you know, bros before hoes. Oh, my God, I was going to say hoes before bros. Always. And that is sisterhood. That's right. And we have had that, and you have it with your friends, and we just celebrate that. And yeah. I loved that that was the true answer.